Hello and welcome, my roided up butterflies. How you doing today? It's a night in the swamp time, baby. We're on the campaign here. We're playing on veteran. Let's get started. This is a difficult one. Um, I think that's why you guys are here. It's not easy. It's hard to pull off. Uh, one thing that I will say is that my five towers here are kind of important for my strategy. Well, really four of these guys. The furnace. I understand why you might want to use that thing, but honestly, eh, just stay away from it. Uh, what we're going to mostly be doing, though, is we're going to focus on magic for the first roughly eight to ten rounds here. And then we're going to switch into bone flingers up in the top over here uh, later on. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And uh, eventually we will get another probably mausoleum there and stuff like that as well. But we're going to go mausoleum here, here, and here. Mausoleums across the board, baby. They are my favorite tower in the game, and we're going to really be using them. One thing you're going to notice about all of this is that... Uh, ghosts are probably going to be the thing that are going to be the most likely to sneak through. Um, you've also got the, uh, I forget what the names of them are, but the guys on Wave 6. They're like werewolf-like, really, really fast, very tanky, really strong monstrosities. I don't know how they're fair in the game, but they're there. Here we go. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. Get up to fourth here over here. Start upgrading this guy as well. Let's reach across here. But don't forget, this might be an issue for you. If you're not using the bam, these guys, these purple blast beams, you're probably going to lose the game. They are important here. So let's, you know, get two gold there. <laughs> All right, I guess, I guess I'll take it. Um, but one thing you're going to notice here is, you know what? I built so much magic. You build no no attack damage, Chris. Obviously, the haunted skeletons are just going to walk right through your freaking defense. Well, that's where your hero comes in. Um, Azra is personally my favorite free hero. Absolutely going to dominate these guys. I'm currently using Jack-O-Lantern because I think he's kind of fun and because he's the new hero in the game. Uh, you know... Do whatever you want, but it is what it is. So make sure you end up getting uh, another fourth tier, hopefully, mausoleum over here. Just use all your abilities on the bottom, you know? Send these guys backwards, go like that, do all this fun stuff. Just blast these guys with Soul Crusher. You're going to kill enough, you're going to get some of it back anyways. So uh, get that all flowing, get the fourth tier mausoleum on the top. We've got some Screecher Bats coming in. All right, so Screecher Bats are pretty stupid. Um, they're actually not that hard to kill, but if you ever get a really, really big group of enemies kind of in the middle of the map, the Screecher Bats can sneak through because you got nothing really in the back back there to deal with them besides these purple uh, uh, beams. So you're going to be a little bit careful against those guys, but here we go. we got werewolves coming out and more ghosts. All right, so werewolves are also somewhat magic-resistant over here. So there's another enemy here. Like, oh, crap. He's like, you got no chance in killing these guys. You're going full magic, dude. What are you doing? Wrong. Werewolves, even though reasonably strong, can still die to magic. Um... Pop some reinforcements down, use your abilities on them, use your mausoleums, man. Mausoleums are delish, by the way. Use your extra purple beams here, and don't be, be, don't be afraid about using them. Uh, you got them there for a reason, man. So we got more skeletons coming in here, and more ghosts coming in. So this is where we're going to want to start getting our uh, magic on the bottom over here as well, because you can't stop ghosts. We're just going to soul crush these guys right from the get-go. And uh, we're going to try and upgrade our Orc Shaman to the highest that we can. Nature's my weapon. That we can afford, at least. And we're going to use Jack to actually kill a lot of these skeletons instead. We want our Mausoleum and our Orc Shaman to be able to kill all of these ghosts over here, right? That's kind of the goal. we got the purple beams here if we really need them like that. Oh, I didn't even use it. I didn't even attack once, I don't think. That sucked. I was just trying to look cool here for you guys. Not looking cool at all. I'm looking like a loser. All right, but like I said, what do we got here, man? We got skeletons coming out. You're thinking, oh, crap, Chris. Like, you know, they're going to sneak through again. You got no tech damage. Wrong. I know I said that a bunch of times, but we're doing it anyways. More haunted skeletons, but we also got bone carriers coming in over here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to send these guys backwards. We're going to try and keep them away from each other if possible. So finally, it's happening. We're getting a bone flinger. Oh, my goodness. Chris, you dirty boy. Get the bone flinger over here. So we're going to try and keep these guys, uh, uh, like I said, separate from each other, basically. So we're going to purple blast these guys real quick. Oh, man, they healed up. Garbage. Healed up. Did. Oh, no, we healed up, too. Don't tell me i got to move Jack over there. Uh, you know, we'll let him get Tesla blasted. Go, Tesla, blast him. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. So anyways, we're letting this guy sneak through on purpose, by the way. We're just letting him go. Go ahead, little buddy. Go ahead. And don't feel bad about using those Teslas, man. If you got them to your bed, if you can save your reinforcements, um, feel free. Don't feel bad about it. But what you want to do is you want to separate, th separate these guys out. We're going to end up getting just a single bone flinger, but we don't want to go too crazy because now we're going to start getting some possession action. All right, so we're going to get a double possession action on the top here because wave 7 
is going to have these enemies that I was going to I was complaining about to you guys earlier. They suck. They're terrible. I hate them. I don't like them. They're my least favorite enemy in the game right now. They just seem like they just want to run through no matter what the heck I do. All right. So uh, I think Kingdom Rush's job is to make you as upset as you possibly can about playing this game. Make enemies that suck to deal with, right? Because then, <laughs> then they made the game fun because we got to find out how do we beat these guys. So they did a good job of that for me at least. Um, the enemy design here overall, man, is just absolutely wonderful. I love this update. Uh, I feel like I don't really know what I'm supposed to do most of the time, which is exactly what you want to see. So here we go. We got some ghosts coming in there, and here we go. Corrosive Soul. So normally what I do is I would just say, screw it. Let's get some gold, baby. Let's make this happen. But we're going to change that up. We're going to blast this guy here. As soon as we get this guy in range, we're going to blast this guy here. And then now we're going to go. All right. So we get a little bit of extra gold here, but nothing crazy. We're going to upgrade our orcs a little bit. We're going to put Jack up in the top here. We're also going to upgrade our orc shaman here. Spend all of our money. But here they go, the Corrosive Souls. Holy crap, they're evil freaking werewolves that have a tie attack. They do true damage to all of your enemies, so it doesn't matter how much armor you've got. Uh, you can't build Dark Knights or something like that. They just don't freaking work against these guys. I'm making it look pretty easy here, but honestly, they are difficult. They are not fun to have to fight at all. So here we go, we're going to just blast these guys in the bottom here, so we don't have to deal with ghosts here sneaking through. And believe it or not, though, I am ready for the next wave here, but Corrosive Souls suck. Here we go. Let's finish this guy off just to have him done. We're going to get another possession over here. And now we got all three of these guys up to possession. All right. That's pretty important for us. More corrosive souls coming in here. Luckily, the Screecher Bats will hopefully die just because. Die. Something. <laughs> just die, little Screecher Bats. Die. Go, Mausoleums. Go. Come on. You can do it. All right. Still got guys dumped coming down here. Corrosive souls. Um, kind of evil. We're going to blast them as much as we can. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I might be making this look easy for you guys, and you're probably like, holy crap, how did he do that? Trust me, I'm not, it, I struggled just as much as you guys did. These guys suck, all right? Maybe you guys had a better time than me. You know, I don't know. Uh, but next thing we're going to do is we're getting close to the 10th the wave here, which is going to be important for us, right? So we're going to get up to um, another Got Milk uh, Delicious Skeleton guy over here, and as soon as we can, we're going to upgrade this guy up to that uh, uh, Got Milk Skeleton upgrade as well. Um, but what you want to do is you want to save up to about 700, 800 bucks here before you even start upgrading these guys, just so you don't have to buy it multiple times. You don't want to de uh, uh your towers if possible. You're wasting money if you do that, right? So obviously all of my towers so far have been on not rooted platforms. You can still buy it, it's only 20 bucks. Not that bad. But you specifically want to not do it if possible. Oakley dokley. Um, things are pretty smooth right now. It's actually a fairly easy wave, but wave 10, as you guys probably know, is usually one of the more difficult waves in the game. They always usually have uh, wave, uh, you know, 5 is usually, 5, 10, and 15 are usually the hardest waves. But I tend to find that uh, wave 14 is sometimes harder than 15, and I don't know, I don't really know why. I don't know if it's at 13 or 14 or, like, supposed to be really hard to get you, like, to use all your crap, so wave 15 can, like, you know, be very extra difficult or what, but I don't know. I find wave 13, 14 usually more difficult than wave 15 for me. But uh, here we go. We got the money for it, so we're going to buy it all up. If you want to, a furnace might work here, but honestly, I would say stay away from it. Um, or another group to attack damage tower if you want. Feel free. Not my style, man. I've been going mostly mausoleums here. We're going to finally upgrade to another orc shaman, I believe. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Not yet. Oh, we got to get another uh, bone flinger over here as well pretty soon. So, for this wave, it's actually not going to be that bad. Wave 10, you're thinking, holy crap, Chris, we got some gigantic monstrosities coming in here. We've got some bone carriers. They got high armor. Luckily, we built nothing to attack damage. <laughs> to use attack damage against these guys yet. So, looking pretty good on that side. But for the next wave, we need a lot of attack damage. So, that's where the bone flingers come in, man. So again, if you look at this guy, if you don't know how the roots work, I'm not an expert in them either, but as far as I understand it, it just makes your tower attack a little bit slower. Uh, I think 25 to 50% uh, slower, which is a pretty drastic amount. I did not do any testing on it or anything like that. It's all from visual stuff to me. But uh, here we go. We're going to move Jack up the top here. We're going to see if we can bless guys in range. Don't feel bad about pressing this, by the way. Uh, it just shows you the range that it, that it can blast in if there's nothing in the way. Here we go. We're just going to do this. Throw some crap at him. Uh, corrosive Souls, Corrosive Souls. Oh, crap. Corrosive Souls, man. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, let's get another Orc Shaman. That stalls him at the very least. We'll move Jack down at the bottom here. Um, 
but this possession's really gonna be what keeps us alive on the top up here. That's why I love this thing. It takes care of those strong enemies. It's wonderful. So here we go, we get the fourth here over here. That's all I really need. I could use more than that, but that's all I really need. Here, we're gonna blast them as well. We're gonna blast this guy just to get rid of him. I hate Corrosive Souls, man. They freaking suck. Should exist in the game. But they do exist. All right, let's blast that guy, try and get rid of him. Send these guys backwards. All right, looks like Corrosive Souls are going to get taken care of. Uh, and the great thing is a lot of these guys are fighting each other on the top. I don't know if you've noticed that, but like two, like uh, like for a while, two out of the four of them were all just fighting each other. That is awesome. So let's go like this. We're going to block these guys in here and we're going to double blast them. We just used everything all at once that we basically had right there. And this last guy should get desolified. All right, so we got a bunch of money to work with now. What are we going to do with it all, man? We got bone carriers coming in, all right? But also licks. Ooh. What is what is what is lick, Chris? What is, I mean, sometimes licking can be good. Sometimes licking can be bad. So more licks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like this. Boom, boom. Get the scout all the way. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three. We're also gonna buy the Walking Dead. All right, we're gonna go Walking Dead. One level here. One level here. One level here. And then I'm going to chop this guy down pretty soon as well. But basically, what I want to do is I want to try and get rid of uh, the licks as fast as I possibly can. Right. Problem is, licks in the middle of bone carriers. Well, that's not exactly easy to deal with, is it? No, it's not. It's not at all. So we go. We're going to town on these guys. If you can, use your reinforcements. Use your bone guys. Use your bone flingers. But don't keep them too close to the entrance for too long. Uh, you want to take care of one and then move on in the world, right? So this guy is just going to get chopped down. Well, level 12. It's time to spend a little bit of money. Got to spend money to make money, man. All right some licks over here. Let's soul crush them and just send everybody in all at once. We're going to use literally all of our abilities on the, on the right side over here. Because once we deal with these guys, um, then we can move on to the other side. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to move on to this side. This is going to be our important side now. So we're going to get a gargoyle here, gargoyle here. And as soon as I get the money for it, we're going to get another Oh no, we died! These licks are too strong, man. They're licking me. So there we go. Blasted them a little bit. Our orcs need to be a little bit stronger over here. We're going to blast these guys, blast these guys. Um, move our orcs back just a little bit here for a second. And then as soon as our hero is back, we're going to move him all the way to the back back here just to keep ourselves alive. Uh, make sure we're not losing any lives over here. We're going to watch out, though, because we got Corrosive Souls coming out on the bottom down here. And we have more Corrosive Souls coming out of the top for round 13. Not fun. Not fun at all. But we made, it, we made it happen. We made it work for ourselves. We moved gargoyles all to the center here. Uh, we're going to wait it out at this point. The little bit of gold that we might be making here is just not worth it. So we're going to blast these guys as much as we possibly can. Looks like we do survive. There's actually not that many Corrosive Souls coming out. Only six here, five here, and five here. That's like exactly what we saw on wave, like, what, 10 or uh, 11 here? It wasn't that bad. I think we can deal with these guys pretty easily. All right. Waiting it out. It's okay. Normally I'm a, I'm a rusher here, but at this point in the game, it's worth it to just chill out, let it all unfold. As it should. As it should. There we go. We got a nice big chunk of ghouls here. That's exactly what I wanted to see, baby. We're going to move our orcs just a little bit further up. Got a lot of money to work with here. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to plan on getting another bone flinger, actually. Um, right here, just so we can clean up the last wave, which is, again, usually not that big of a deal. But in this in this game, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit of a big deal. So I guess what's coming out here is they're coming a little bit faster than usual. I guess that's the main difference here. So we got a lot of money to work with. But we got ghosts, screecher bats, licks coming out, man. That's the problem, the freaking licks. So here we go. Let's get, uh, let's block those guys in there real quick. Let's go for another bone flinger. One, two, three. We're going to get one of the skeleton here. Take care of those licks as fast as we possibly can. And then um, I'm going to go for a final last-ditch orc shaman over here. If anybody sneaks through, he's supposed to take care of them. All right, so we're going to let these licks go in for just a little bit. We want to start killing them right where they get in range of both of my skeletons. All right, not before that. Only when they get in range of both of my skeletons. So we go. They're finally getting in range over here. And it's time. So we're going to go pretty hard here. We're going to go reinforcements, jack. We're going to use our soul crusher on the back two over here. We're going to use our... our uh, uh, whatever, the horses to kill these guys. 
did a pretty good job there. That was pretty wonderful. Look at the ghosts on the bottom here. They're a little bit painful, but honestly not too shabby. Now we're gonna let these licks kind of move in again. But again, what you wanna do is anything that spawns needs to be top priority. All right, these licks are spawning. All right. Licks are spawning. And it's not fun to watch licks spawn. So we're gonna do it again. We got them in range here, so we're gonna go reinforcements. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna put Jack on top of all these guys. And it looks like with all that on top of each other, we do a delicious amount of damage to these guys. And the licks are no problem at all to finish up the last wave here, guys. Got a little bit of extra money and everything, but um, really not too bad. Um, all right. Licks, licks, licks. Oh my god, I'm getting millions of texts over here. What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? I'm sorry. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm a girlfriend. Sorry, I'm at wave 14. We're on wave 15 now. Um, we got a little bit of extra money now. What do we want to do with it all? We need to chop down our stuff. This is the final wave here, guys. This is what you want to do. Chop down those roots. Make sure everybody's at full potential here. Uh, get a little bit more gargoyle action if you want. Just keep everybody kind of on the screen. Also, Jack, you need to get out of there, dude. What you, what you doing, dude? Wait for these guys to be in range, man. Uh, if you got any extra money, don't feel bad about getting some extra magic damage. So, uh, Orc Shamans are actually pretty good, man. Uh, they're good for one, one shot uh, damage doing. They're pretty expensive but they're still pretty good. So we got a lot of licks on the top here. So again, top priority, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go bam, jack, test the coil. Uh, we're gonna use our horses on the same thing. Horses, take them down. I don't think the horses worked there for some reason. I don't know why, but all right. Busy doing something else, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. And then we're here we go, we're gonna blast these guys and that is how we do it, baby. Um, chop, 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 if you want to, to finish these guys a little bit faster, but I think that is the end. Oh, also, if you want an achievement, that girl on the, uh, the raft up there, click her, and then a swamp monster is going to come out. Click the swamp monster, you get an achievement, all right? Um, but that is all I'm going to have for you guys today. So, obviously, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe and hit the little bell button if you have not. I will have more content coming up for you guys very, very soon. I still want to make my, uh, my tower video and the final ancient ghost video here. This one's going to be pretty wild, by the way. Pretty freaking wild. So, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.